The simplest boron hydride that is stable at room temperature is diborane, B286. The structure of diborane has two bridging hydrogen atoms. You can use a partial molecular orbital scheme to describe the bonding in diborane. This approach uses a combination of the valence bond and molecular orbital theories. The geometry around each boron atom is approximately tetrahedral, so you can assume that the boron atoms are sp3 hybridized. Two of the hybrid orbitals on each boron atom interact with the hydrogen 1s orbitals to form sigma bonding orbitals. These contain two electrons, one from the boron atom and one from the hydrogen atom, and are normal covalent bonds. We can call these two centre two electron bonds. The bonding involving the bridging hydrogen atoms cannot be explained in this way. However, you can use a three centre bonding scheme to describe the bonding of these atoms. Using molecular orbital theory, the first step of this approach is to look at the combinations of the orbitals on the two boron atoms. These orbitals can either be in phase with each other or out of phase with each other. The hydrogen 1s orbital interacts with the in phase combination of boron orbitals to give a bonding orbital and an antibonding orbital. However, the 1s orbital cannot interact with the outer phase combination of boron orbitals since it doesn't have the right symmetry. So overall, the three orbitals combine to give a bonding orbital, a non-bonding orbital and an antibonding orbital. You can show this on a partial molecular orbital energy level diagram. Hydrogen is more electronegative than boron, so the hydrogen 1s orbital is lower in energy than the boron hybrid orbitals. The in-phase combination of boron orbitals interacts with the hydrogen orbital to give bonding and antibonding orbitals, while the outer phase combination of boron orbitals is non-bonding, so stays at the same level as the boron orbitals. There are two electrons to put into the scheme, one electron from a boron atom and one from a hydrogen atom. This means that the bonding orbital is filled, but the non-bonding and antibonding orbitals are empty. The overall interaction between the three atoms is called a 3-centre 2-electron bond.